There's no question Juan Pablo's Bachelor finale was a crazy one. Even Chris Harrison started to lose his cool. Did you? I'm with somebody. Look, look, and I'm happy. I've been four months happy. I don't know what I'm looking at. Huh? I don't know what I'm looking. You at. You don't. So many shocking moments, but we managed to narrow them down to our favorite 15. At number 15, Juan Pablo's family tries to warn the girls that he may not be the man of their dreams. He sometimes is very rude. He's not an easy guy. I am pretty sure that he's ready for this. Sometimes when things are getting rough, they walk away of the relationship, yeah. you know? So how, how can you deal with that? Number 14, Claire, who is Juan Pablo's number one fan up until now. She reveals some pretty crappy things he might have said when the cameras weren't rolling on their last date. He chooses not to say something romantic but that he loved hooking up with me. What he said and the words he used, I can't even repeat it. Number 13, Juan Pabs managed to smooth things over with Claire, but only in a way that makes us think that he's definitely picking her in the end. I know if I end up with you, we're gonna have a baby in like a year and two months. <laughs> Number 12, he doesn't pick Claire in the end. Cue the best bachelor elimination ever. I'll have to say goodbye to you. You had every opportunity, like those other girls did, mm -hmm. to tell me exactly how you felt. Do you know how I feel? Do you know when I made my decision? It doesn't matter to me. Okay. I lost respect for you. Okay. Because, I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. I thought I knew what kind of man you were. Okay. What you just made me go through, mm -hmm. I would never want my children having a father like you. Okay. Number 11, his douchey reaction when she leaves. Whew, I'm glad they didn't pick her. At number 10, ABC bleeps out Juan Pablo's offensive comments to Claire but we think we get the gist of it. It's easy to just kiss and show your feelings, but don't tell me you love me. Don't tell me that. Number nine, Nikki arrives and Juan Pablo gives the least romantic response to an I love you in Bachelor history. I like you a lot, a lot. Number eight, he picks Nikki, but doesn't propose. I'm not 100% sure that I wanna propose to you. But at the same time, I'm 100% sure that uh, I just don't want to let you go. Nikki, who just said my final rose. Number seven, at the After the Final Rose live show, Nikki reveals that the two are still together, but that he still hasn't said, I love you. Ooh, got hurt. Number six, the Juan Pablo and Chris Harrison feud that we didn't see coming. It's I know, I know, what? like, can listening. I, can I, I talk? No, no. well. Woo. And, and like I said before, when you interrupt me last time, um, no. Another season of The Bachelor has come to an end. Not gonna lie, I'm okay moving on. Number five, Juan Pablo refuses to reveal some mystery surprise he may or may not have discussed with producers. You mentioned to one of our network executives mm -hmm. that you had a big surprise for tonight. That Do I have a big surprise? I don't. That's... I talk to the executives and, and I keep my secret well done, you know, and this is my secret. I'm here happy with Nikki. We're, we're very happy, both of us, and uh, we're going to start a relationship from, from today on as a regular person so there is in no real life. No surprise? No, you're, you're talking about surprise, no. Oh. Number four, Juan Pablo refused to reveal his true feelings about Nikki. How do you feel about her? <laughs> uh, Chris, I feel great, like I said. And, uh, hi Chris. So, uh, I'm very honest to her, and I keep things to ourselves, and I show her how I feel about her, and she's happy with that. And, uh, you know, we're, we're starting our life now together. So you love her? I'm not gonna answer that question to you. Number three, Bachelor newlyweds Sean and Catherine slam Nikki and Juan Pablo's relationship. When I'm in love, I want that person to know it and I want them to know how special they are to me and, and all the wonderful things about them and how they make me feel. Um, but teach their own. If I were physically there saying, 
Would I accept a rose? No, because I don't know anything about you either. It's like, I'm so confused. Number two, Nikki finally speaks. It actually makes some sense. Hey, I feel like there's people that have sat up here before and said they're in love and everyone wants to believe it, but but they don't. And it, because like, it's just not there. And at number one, Andy is the new bachelorette. Okay, so that wasn't really that shocking to us because we saw it coming, but I had to take a moment to acknowledge her in that dress, right? <laughs> Mark your calendars, guys. The new Bachelorette season airs May 19th. We'll be back to recap all the craziness. Speaking of, don't forget to share your thoughts on Juan Pablo's pretty epic finale. Subscribe right here for more on your favorite TV shows. Click here to check out more moments from The Bachelor and click here for American Idol recaps.